Hi, everybody. I wanted to share this, but I also wanted to kind of do an overview of what I was thinking around supporting Quincy and their special ed leadership. Um, I know that there's still ongoing changes and things. And so just to get ahead of ourselves in the conversation, here were some things rattling around in our heads. And then we know we have some more thought and discussion to have around it with your input as well. So we created some options for you. And each one of the options, the following slide are adjusted costs so that you have that as well. This is option one. The goal for this is really surviving through next year. It's a, myself and Leanne kind of dividing those technical supports to be helping um, your program get through the year with potentially some recommendations to move forward with that. And these are costs you've already seen. So this is a, a little bit more help. I know that you had expressed to Leanne that you wanted more than this, but this is more than what we typically do for um, our mentoring districts. So option two is a ded dedicated director for the school year. And this would be a private contract either through us um, opening a part-time position and seeing who we get. We think we might have some people we could recruit to help um, get you through. And then we could be mentoring that person that you have on the ground. This is goal three, hopefully getting you through to um, the end of the year with some recommendations and what that might look like there. So we could do some summer prep with your folks and um, your coordinators who would be acting more on your ground as functioning as directors and doing some of those other pieces. Um, we could either do in our mentoring format with the two coordinators, um, which we share with some other districts. So it's not quite as option one is a little bit more Quincy specific and the mentoring piece is a little bit more general and specific to special education tasks and programming. And then this is option four, building capacity and systems for new hire recommendations in 22-23. Um, we already have a site opening for specific for Quincy. So we could adjust that opening. So it was a psych slash coordinator. And then Leanne and I would come alongside and mentor and or do the Quincy specific piece to be able to help get that site coordinator, not just adjusted to special ed leadership, but also to Quincy. And then we would need to add because that site cord is going to be doing more of that coordination and working with us that to cover that psych time, we would need to add additional psych FTE so that you're not losing the psych support from what you need direct for students. Um, we also have with our other contracts already a lot of the related services folks from the ESD. And I think that would also really help if we have the ESD cord to be able to kind of coordinate all of the other related services along with the building and programming. So that would just kind of build in um, more capacity for re related services that are happening out in your buildings and preschool. Um, and then this last bullet here is support programming and mentoring. And there are some options for that one. So I know we still have lots to discuss, but I wanted to get this to you ahead of time. All of these are adjustable and movable in other ways, but these were some of the things we were thinking that um, we might be discussing. Talk to you soon.